This video is brought to you by the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. Go to patreon.com slash discgolfnerd. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my review of the Latitude 64 Keystone. These are in the Zero Medium Plastic. Now, I know I reviewed this disc in the Opto Plastic last year, but A, I didn't quite get to test that disc as much as I like to typically for reviews. And also, shortly thereafter, basically, I started becoming somewhat frustrated with my putter, my main putter inside the circle. Um, I just wasn't feeling confident with it. I wasn't enjoying the feel in the hand all of a sudden. And I remembered liking the design and the shape of the Keystone. I ended up picking up this orange one then and tested it for my main putter. And I'm sticking with it. It's working really well. So with this disc being my main putter in my bag, I'm also starting to throw them as well and getting more experience with them. I thought it might be cool to post an updated review and let you guys know a little more details about my, my new putter. So let's take a look at this one first. This is the one I got first and tested for several rounds really before I decided to get any more of them and I made sure that I was using it inside the circle outside the circle for all of my putting and uh, one of the things that I wanted to say real quick too about this is like if you're trying a new putter don't even bring out the putter that you're currently using just stick with that that new putter and just really work on it because sometimes you get out there and uh you kind of get in the flow and all of a sudden you want to switch back to something that's comfortable and then you don't end up testing the uh the, the new putter quite as much as you should so I, I feel like it works best to just if you want to try it try it get rid of anything else and just make sure you're using it for all your putting and see how it goes um this one has worked out really well for me and i uh actually started to throw this one more on approaches and some short tee shots and stuff i'm starting to get a good feel for it so i'm gonna probably use this one for kind of more longer range putting and for throwing and and uh you know short range drives and then i got a pair of these white zero mediums to putt with so let's take a look at this one it's a little cleaner it might be easier to see the stamps this is a, a little bit newer run so you can see it doesn't have the uh those like dotted line circles around there just a, a larger bar stamp on this one not my favorite stamp design but it's not a huge problem zero medium plastic is is really nice for putting because it has good grip it has some give under the thumb but the whole disc is relatively rigid it's not like floppy in your hand at all so it still has kind of a blend between the softness of a, of a soft and then the firmness of the zero zero hard plastic these if they do hit the market in uh, zero soft i will absolutely be picking some up for certain approaches and maybe even for putting um, in cold weather or for times where i really want to make sure it sits if i miss so keystone two five negative one and one are the flight numbers on this disc now it's been kind of a recent development that we started seeing these uh, putters get marked with fives for glide i feel like that was usually reserved for mid-ranges and drivers years ago but i don't really take too much offense to it maybe i would say two four negative one one but it's definitely a noticeably glidey disc and i think they just kind of wanted to represent that um in in the flight numbers because it really is um, pretty obvious when you get out there and throw it that it does have some nice float to it especially yeah on those backhand throws uh, and approach shots so really like the feel and the feel is what made me want to try this thing for my putter i remember really liking the design the shape of the opto one that i had um, and as you can see here it is pretty flat on this bottom edge right so it really feels nice in my putting grip the way my finger rides on that edge um, and also it's relatively shallow or at least it kind of feels that way which feels nice in my hand it is quite flat on the top which i always like and there's no sharp edges or hot spots of any kind on this disc. There's no bead. There's nothing that's really going to kind of interrupt that smooth feeling um, all the way from the inside and around to the top of the flight plate. It just feels really, really comfortable. And like that flat edge, it just feels really comfortable to me. And I feel like it's more repeatable in the way it kind of comes out of my hand, a little bit smoother. Um, in my experience at least and then recently i've been experimenting it's kind of hard to show grips with this camera setup but i've been ex experimenting with throwing 
putters and just kind of tucking that finger rather than having it completely wrapped inside the rim. I've been just kind of tucking it there and using thumb pressure to kind of pinch that. And it ends up feeling pretty smooth. It might be something I continue to work on. Let's put it up next to some other options before I ramble too much <laughs> about the feel. First of all, we have the Jawbreaker Magnet. Now me and the Jawbreaker Magnet had a good few years together for sure. And all of a sudden, I just started to kind of lose confidence in this disc sometime last winter. And it really just kind of never came back. I just didn't have that same feel in the hand anymore. And something about the design of the magnet here that has this indentation and that kind of false bead that it has. It's kind of a weird old school type design to it. All of a sudden it just started feeling really, really weird in my hand. I'm just not liking the way that my index finger interacts with that rim. And also as they start to get beat up, um, they start to get kind of rough on that edge too. So it just really wasn't feeling good in my hand. I lost confidence in throwing it and I ended up switching to the Keystone. That's pretty much how it went down. You know, I, I really don't like switching putters and I tried to stick with the magnet for years, but after a long period of time with uh, seeing the issues, that's when I wanted to try to sw uh, switch away and find something that might work a little bit better. And ultimately I'm definitely happy with the decision, but it's a little unfortunate to uh, switch away from something that's worked so well for so long. Another disc out of my bag, and this is one that I actually experimented with as my main putter. I could probably get confident with this thing and figure out how to use it, but it's just not really the uh, the flight that I like for putting. And this is the Link. Now, the Link is a supremely comfortable disc. It does have the bead, which I don't mind for throwing, but I've never been a big fan of beaded putters for putting for whatever reason. Um, the Link is definitely a phenomenal disc all around. If you're looking for a beaded putter, or a uh, really neutral thrower, I would definitely check out a link. But there it is, really rounded um, outside edge there, but the bead is just so different than that flat surface that the Keystone has. So there it is next to a couple other things. I really like the feel overall. I like the zero medium plastic. I feel like it has a great blend of give in the hand without being so floppy that it's difficult to throw and release. But as I said earlier, if these come out in zero soft, I will immediately get some for throwers. So without further ado, let's take a look at the flight of this thing. It is really, really straight flying disc and you're gonna notice that you can definitely see the glide and the way this thing floats and it's ultimately just a really inherently straight flyer. It definitely has some under stability to it where it flips up just a hair. Um, it doesn't have much fade, but it will fade a little bit depending on the release angles. If we're talking about approach shots, it's great for those little soft floaty hyzers holds a turnover really nice on a backhand as well, but it's never really aggressively moving too far, um, whether it's you know from left to right or right to left. It really kind of holds mostly straight overall, which I really, really like. Inside the circle, it's very, very point and shoot, has a little bit of understability to it, which I like, and I think the glide and the low fade really helps me connect with it. I could just pop it out there, and my, my natural putting style is maybe slight hyzer, slightly nose up pop it out there and it just floats real straight into the basket. I find myself uh, hitting metal on longer uh, putts again with this thing and hitting some of those longer circle two putts out there on the course with the really nice glide and float of the Keystone. But inside the circle, it's super straight and point and shoot. And I've uh, grown to be quite confident with it overall in a relatively short period of time. So it's definitely something I think I'm gonna stick with. Um, but it's just recently that I started to notice how good this thing flies as a uh, backhand approach disc. Man, this thing just, it floats dead straight, has great glide, it flips up a little bit, I can work it left to right smooth, like it's just a really phenomenal thrower, but I think uh, definitely it warrants more testing, and I'm gonna be using this orange one for a lot of throws um, out there on the course like you're seeing in, in the flight footage here, but is a really really solid flyer all around and honestly kind of feels like a slower fuse in a lot of ways it's not super understable naturally where if you throw it it just really rips over um, but it does fly really straight and it holds turnovers extremely easily definitely has that little bit of flip up to it it's low fade and it has a big glide so it really does kind of fit that role and my in the bag video will be coming out soon but you'll see I'm working with that kind of 
working in threes type system that, that I've been kind of talking about for a while now, where I have a nice flippy um, understable, straight to understable disc, neutral, and then more overstable. This thing works really well as the straight to understable throwing putter in my bag. And honestly, I could probably replace my soft magnets with this disc, which is wild. I, uh, I actually played a full 18 the other day and I didn't throw my soft magnet at all. I was just using the Keystone and then the Caltrop as, as normal. And I'm also throwing a lot of forehand approaches with a Justice. And I really didn't miss the magnet at all. It was quite strange. And um, yeah, if I wasn't so set in my ways, I didn't have so many backups with the magnets, I really don't need to carry them anymore now that I have the Keystone. So that is my review on the Zero Medium Keystone. Definitely a fantastic disc that I look forward to continuing to test in my own game. Stay tuned to the channel if you want to check out my In the Bag video, which will be coming very soon to see all the other plastic that I'm carrying currently. Huge shout out to everybody for their continued support of the channel, my viewers, my subscribers, Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team, my sponsors, folks following me on Instagram, everybody, you're all amazing and I appreciate it. I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers. Uh, hold on. Okay, ready? Keystone again. <laughs> Hashtag Nico Pants. <laughs>